it's the being 28 books behind my reading goal this year for me. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you're new here and welcome to Wonderland. Today we are going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. <laughs> And I'm freaking out because I am very behind on my reading goal and every time I do this tag I realize that and I I get very nervous but I love this tag doing it every year is so much fun to look back on the books I have read this year and the books I want to read this year I definitely have a lot of fun watching and creating this video so let's just get right into this because there's a lot of questions number one is the best book you've read this year and I'm gonna go with A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Moss this was one of my most anticipated books for 2021 I truly love Nesta and it also brought out my love for Asriel and the story in general where we're going with it. Uh, I've met one of my new favorite characters Gwen in this and I don't know I just really enjoyed this book. I felt like it was such a leap from the other series because this one is an adult novel although the other books could be considered adult novels with some of the content in later books but Akasif definitely was one of my favorites and Nesta will always hold a very special place in my heart. Next is the best sequel that you read this year and that would be Kingdom of Flesh and Fire by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the second book in the From Blood and Ash series. I've read all three that are out and I've really enjoyed them. I went back and forth between this one and the third one, but I came to the realization that I definitely liked the second one better. I felt like the story moved more quickly and we got to learn more about these characters and it was just a fun ride in this one. This is a new adult book, but I really enjoyed this book. I love Poppy. I love Hawk. I won't give away the other name that this character goes by, but definitely would recommend this series. It's just fun and it takes you on a ride. And I've always loved Jennifer L. Armitage's writing, so definitely recommend this series. Next is your most anticipated book that is coming out later in the year and that would be Gods and Monsters by Shelby Mahern. This is the third and final book in the Serpent and Dove series. Oh my gosh, I'm so ready for this book. I love the Serpent and Dove series. I love Lou, I love Reed, and I just really need to have this, have this in my life after the ending of the last book. I read that when that first came out. I'm just ready to know where these characters' journeys go on and this is, I've been waiting for this book since we got the release date. Next is a new release that you haven't read yet but you want to and that would be Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. I don't have this one, I haven't picked it up but I plan to pick it up tomorrow when I go to Barnes & Noble. I really want to read this. I am very excited to get back into Victoria Aveyard's writing because Red Queen is one of my favorite series and I've heard people who didn't like Red Queen really liked Realm Breaker so I know I'm just gonna love it either way. Next up is your biggest disappointment and this one actually hurts my heart and that would be Lore by Alexandra Bracken. Now this isn't saying that I didn't like this book because I did like the book. It just wasn't what I was expecting and maybe I read it at the wrong time. I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. Uh, I didn't really connect with the main character like I usually do but I gave it I think a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, but yeah I was really sad because I love Alex's writing and you know I will like literally die on the hill of Alexander Bracken. Uh, but yeah it wasn't my favorite but I'm hoping that maybe if I give it another go later on that I might like it even more. Next one is your biggest surprise of the year and that would be Den of Vipers. <gasps> Hi. Um, this is a common occurrence of TikTok made me read it and this book definitely came up in my uh, For You page so many times that I finally read it and I was pleasantly surprised. Now don't get me wrong, there is a lot in this book that I just like am not for, but there's a lot in the book that I do like. And it was more of the first like romance erotica I've read before. I don't know, I never read Fifty Shades of Grey, I never read anything else, but this was one that I did read and I pleasantly enjoyed it, which was a big surprise to me because I thought I was going to hate every second of it. Next up is your new favorite author and that would be Leigh Bardugo. I binged the Shadow and Bone series before the Netflix show came out and I really like Lee's writing style. I've always known I probably would like her, I just didn't have the time to get to the series, but 
I really do like it and I know her writing is just gonna get so much better from Shadow and Bone to like the newest books. I am excited. So I I'm glad that I have finally read a Lee Bardugo book and have the ability to say she is one of my new favorite authors. Next is your newest fictional crush and I'm gonna go back to a series I already mentioned and that would be the From Blood and Ash series. I love the main love interest Hawk in this. Oh my gosh, he is dark and brooding and just like that bad boy murderer that you're like, mm, he's murdered like 85 people and pulled some guy's spine out of his back for his love interest, but I still love him. So yeah. Love me some Hawk. The next one is your new favorite character, and that would be Annabeth Chase from the Percy Jackson series. I'm filming an entire reading vlog where I read the Percy Jackson series for the first time on my channel. I'm currently on the second book, but I have fallen in love with Annabeth, and I'm sad that I didn't get to know her when I was younger. As someone who is very dyslexic, I would have really related to Annabeth, and I love her a lot. She was blonde, she had curly hair, I just... I love her so much and she's sassy and fun and I understand why she's a lot of people's favorite character or comfort character because she is just, I love her a lot and I can't wait to learn more of her story as the series goes on. The next question is a book that made you happy and that would be How the King of Elfmen Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black. This is a short story collection that follows the main character Cardin of the Cruel Prince series. I don't know, there was just something about this book that made me just kind of happy to be back in that world. I really loved The Cruel Prince. I read it last year and I don't know, I love Cardin. I love Jude and it was really interesting to find out more about Cardin's background but also get Jude and like an after of The Cruel Prince, like an after story. So yeah. I would read card and stories all day if I could. Next is the most beautiful book that you've bought this year. Uh, I haven't really bought a ton of like books this year. I've been really good other than books that I've gotten subscription boxes of not buying books. Uh, I've just tried to read the ones that I've had. But the one book that I did pre-order previously for a specific reason was Chain Up Iron by Cassandra Clare. I just really think this is a pretty book and mine, the reason I pre-ordered it is it's signed by Cassie and I don't know, I just think it's really pretty. I haven't started the Last Hour series but I do have Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron so I hope to get to that later this year but I just think it's so pretty. The blue it's setting, the yellow setting. The artwork on the Shadowhunter series is always just some of my favorites. I just realized that I skipped a question because I wondered why I had so many books next to me and that would be a book that made you cry. Covet by Tracy Wolf made me cry. I w there were so many moments in this book that just like made me tear up and I was like oh man it's hit right in my heart. Um, I love these characters. I love this story and the journey that we're going on with these characters and I cannot wait till the next book comes out. Hudson Vega has my entire heart. There was a couple moments in this book that made me cry and there was an ending moment that I was like oh right in the heart but other than that I haven't really cried in books a lot this year. I know that's gonna change by the end of the year. So. Next is books that you need to finish by the end of the year and I have three. First one, When the Blackbird Sings by Ellie Iver. I read a chapter a night. I'm almost done with this book. I've had it since October. I just, I've been in a reading slump and I didn't want to read this book when I was in a reading slump because I know I'm going to love it and I'm already loving it. Like I have not that much left. I'm on like chapter 23 and I adore it. I love Mavis. I love Beck. I love Kit. These characters are so much fun and Elodie has such beautiful writing and The Violet Theory was one of my favorite books back in 2018 I believe or 2019. I can't remember which year I read it. I need to finish this. I will finish it and then I will have a full review on my Goodreads because you know, I've been shoving these books down everyone's throats because everyone needs to read Elodie's writing. But I will finish that. Next is Crescent City, House of Blood and Bone by Sarah J. Moss. I've heard a bunch about this series and this is the last Sarah J. Moss book that I need to read. I just am intimidated by the size of this but I know I'm going to love Bryce so much and I think I'm going to read it on audiobook and physical books so I can get through it but I, I want to read this. 
because everyone talks about it and I know it's gonna be my next obsession. And the last one is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. I watched the TV show. I fell in love with the crows in the show so I know I'm going to love them in the book. So yeah, I'm ready to read this book. I started on audiobook and was like binging it really fast and then I just realized I need to start it over because I don't remember anything that happens. I don't want that to happen with this book uh, because I love it a lot. And that is a mid-year book freakout tag. Let me know how far behind you are on your reading goal or how far ahead you are. I'd love to know and let me know some of your favorite books you've read this year so I can put them on my TBR. But I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time on Wonderland Loves. Bye.